Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Richie Plunkett from the Puppetum Geek and today we're taking a look at the Drobo 5N2 network storage device. This is Drobo's second take on their hugely successful Drobo 5N. Taking a quick look around the device, you'll quickly notice that there isn't much I.O. around this NAS. The device is very simple with just a power button and 2GB Ethernet ports for faster uploads and download speeds. The Drobo 5N2 doesn't need all the bells and whistles. You might even say that it's very lacking in some ports. Where's the USB ports, the HDMI port, the remote for my media center? When it comes to NAS, Drobo gets the job done and that's why a lot of people rely on Drobo because it does one job and it does it really well. And this is why video editors, photographers go with Drobo is not because it has all the bells and whistles, it's because it knows what it's doing. Now that's not to say that QNAP and Synology are not worth looking into, Drobo might not even existed if it wasn't for these guys setting the foundation for NAS today. We have to remember as well, Drobo is doing its sort of its own thing and not really trying to really compete with these guys who also own a very big portion of the NAS market. Now I just wanted to share this as I know some guy out there is going to point out all the benefits and amazing things you can do with X other brand and that's very much so. But, you know, first off, you can't really put a price on data and that's the most valuable thing that we have here today. There is a number of solutions out there for backing up and trust me, I should know. And I say that because earlier this year I lost all my data, about 3 terabytes worth of it. May not be much for some people, but I had a 2 bay NAS and both drives failed. We tried just a software recovery, but because the drives were encrypted, it didn't work. I've got a quote on how much it's gonna cost me, and it's gonna cost me just under two grand to recover those drives. The great thing about the 5N2 is that it contains five bays for that added redundancy and storage. And what's great as well is that they don't have to be the same brand or size or speed. Drobo does a really great job in building them ready to be used in a mass network storage device, which is Pretty cool. Now open the front which is nicely held by magnets. This is where you can actually easily load your drives into the five bays. Up front you will notice a couple of LEDs as well. From here you can easily see your status of your drives which they are healthy or need replacing. Below a couple of blue LEDs which also show the capacity of your entire storage device which is also handy at a glance. Under the case, you have the ability to also even increase the speed of your unit even further with the capacity of having an MSATA SSD to help cache giving faster performance and faster access to your data. Not many people will require this, but it's nice to have. Now setting up your 5N2 is really easy as well. Just plug in your power, connect your ethernet and away you go. With software for both Mac and PC, you'll be set up in minutes. From here, you can install and open your Drobo dashboard, allowing us to modify those settings, see drive health and install Drobo apps. One of my favorite apps is having the Plex app for my media. It's not crazy amount of apps out there, but it's enough for most moderate NAS users. It's also worth mentioning that if you want to have mobile access through your Drobo access app, it's going to be an additional cost of $1. Even though $1 isn't much, it sort of feels like this is something that should be a free service. Overall, the Drobo 5N2 is a great network storage device, giving you the most reliable and redundant backup system that they can offer for this price range. Great for a small business or personal use, the 5N2 is a great NAS to get you started and backing up that data. Remember, you can't put a price on Dana, but the Drobo 5N2 will set you back around $900 Australian. If you're a videographer, photographer, or even someone who just has a lot of Dana, the Drobo 5N2 is a must have for your next backup system. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. If you are new to this channel, why not subscribe as well? And if you have any questions regarding the Drobo 5N2, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. This has been the review for the Drobo 5N2 and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.